So you're considering making a move to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Well, Ann Arbor is one of my favorite cities here in Metro Detroit, but you might be asking yourself, what is Ann Arbor like? What is it like to live there? Is it safe? How are the schools? What's the shopping like? Are there good amenities? Well, those are all questions you should be asking when relocating to a new city, and I've got answers for you. So in this video, I'm covering just that. So stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric Meldrum. I make videos just like this about all things Metro Detroit. We cover what it's like to work here, live here, play here, the sunshine and the snow and everything in between. I'm also a licensed real estate professional and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate and invest here in the Metro Detroit market. And if you're into these type of videos, then hit that subscribe button, tap that bell so you're the first to learn about all the new videos we put out on a weekly basis. All right, so let's start with the million dollar question. What is it that so many people love about Ann Arbor that draws them in and keeps them here and makes Ann Arbor one of the best places to live here in Michigan. Well, number one, it has been ranked the number one place to live, number one place to retire, number one place to raise a family by all of these different publications and they continue to show up on the ranking system for a lot more as well. But let's start with a 30,000 foot view. Now, this might be a situation that you're in right now. You have a job offer from a company here in Ann Arbor and you're thinking about moving and you're asking yourself, well, do I live in the city? Do I live on the outskirts? How far is a drive? What's the traffic like? Those are all great questions to be asking and we got answers for you. So if you do have those specific questions and I haven't covered it in one of my videos, on this channel, then please reach out. I'd be happy to answer that directly to you or you can put in the comments below. I answer all of those myself. We wanna be the best resource for you here, guys. But when it comes to Ann Arbor, there's really three major industries that are driving a lot of relocation here to the area. Number one is healthcare. We got the University of Michigan, we got St. Joseph Mercy, and we got the VA healthcare system here in Ann Arbor. So there's a lot of jobs when it comes to nursing, uh, doctors, and just administrative staff in the healthcare industry itself. And I know it goes deep, that's just the name of a few. And then the other industry that's driving a lot of growth and a lot of jobs here in the area is the automotive industry. And I'm gonna blend that into technology because there's so many things going on in the automotive industry when it comes to you know, the autonomous vehicles, and self-driving cars and all of these sensors and things that make this industry tick. There is a lot going on in the Ann Arbor area from a research and development perspective because of the University of Michigan, which brings us to the third major thing, which is driving a lot of growth and jobs here in the area, which is the education system. You got the University of Michigan, you got the Ann Arbor public school systems. There's a lot of education jobs, a lot of teachers, professors, and people in academics that are moving here just for that alone. All right, so now that we got a pretty good overview of what's driving a lot of relocation to Ann Arbor, and this might be something that you're moving here for too, so you can probably relate, you know, I wanna talk about some reach outs that we've gotten recently from doctors and engineers. You know, they were coming into the Ann Arbor market and we know for doctors, you have to be within 45 minutes of the hospital system. So when we start taking a look at, do we live in Ann Arbor? Do we live on the outskirts? We know there's a 45 minute on-call radius that you need to be in. So we have all those areas mapped out. So that's gonna be really helpful when you're sitting down and mapping out some locations to consider when moving here. All right, so really quick disclaimer before we get into this, there's only so many things I can say about crime, safety, housing as a real estate professional. So what I am gonna do is talk about facts, data that we know is to be true. And these are coming from websites that I'm gonna share in the description below. So what I can do is give you a viewpoint from my eyes as a father, a husband, somebody that's raising a family here in the area. These things are important to me. I know they're important to you. So that's how I'm gonna view it. So let's get into it right now. All right, so what's more important than safety when it comes to our families? I know that's really important to me, my wife, and we just wanna live in a good area. So we don't want crime happening all over the place, but overall, really low crime in Ann Arbor. When you look at the map, you are gonna see some crime. Um, most cities have crime, but let me tell you, the type of crime is really important. So really dive into it. Don't just look at the rating and say, oh my gosh, it's got a, a D rating or a C rating. Like look at the type of crime that's going on. Now, little secret guys, every city has crime. You know, when it comes to petty theft, when it comes to larceny or just vandalism, those things occur in most major cities. Ann Arbor is not exempt, but when I'm there with my family, 
I never feel unsafe. I never feel like I'm in a bad area. You know, so that's really important when you're looking at crime is really dive deep into it. And again, we're gonna have this resource down below. Check it out, check what type of crime is happening. There's some cool resources. Um, one of those is crimemapping.com. You guys can look and see real time, like as the crimes happening, as they're getting reported uh, to the Ann Arbor Police Department, these are going on the map so you can see what type of crimes happening on a daily and weekly basis. The other good one is crimegrade.org. You can see what type of crimes happening in the area. I don't think that one's real time, but at least they'll give you an overview of the type of crime that's happening. Now also keep in mind, we are in a college town. So a lot of the crime may be happening from the university, DUIs, um, MIPs, right? Kids like to party, right? Noise violations. Um, so all of those things may occur within there, but just know the university, the student housing, that's really kind of a separate area. And we'll get into this. I have a few videos um, that I've done on student housing. If you're looking to buy a place here for your kids that are maybe moving here for, uh, for college, that's also a really great investment. We work with a lot of families that their kids are going to the University of Michigan. And instead of renting all four years, they're financially smart and they say, look, we're not gonna do any of that. We're not gonna mess around with rent and throw the money away. We are gonna invest our money in real estate in Ann Arbor because we know that's gonna pay off in the long run. So I love when that happens because the ROI on it is so great. I love it. All right, so next up, let's talk about the schools here in Ann Arbor. Now, this is one of the main reasons a lot of people move to the Ann Arbor area is specifically for the schools. So just know the Ann Arbor school systems are top rated. Um, when it comes to the public school system, top rated. When it comes to the private school systems, you got a lot of options as well. And I think that's uh, one of the unique things about Ann Arbor is there's this kind of aura around academics being that the University of Michigan is right there and people take education really seriously, um, which is great. Like I, I love I love seeing it, um, but the, the rankings and the competitiveness for it is really crazy because we get calls and texts and emails from people that are moving to Ann Arbor and they've picked out a certain location where they wanna be because of a school system. Now, Ann Arbor has 18 elementary schools, five middle schools, and three major high schools. There's some alternative schools and other things that support the school system there, but that's kind of the bulk of it. So when it comes to specific academics in some of the elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools, we've had clients call us and say, hey, I wanna send my kids directly to Burns Park. Right, and that's a little little area, right? Burns Park's are really super nice, but homes don't come up for sale that often in there. So we had to get to work really trying to find a listing for our clients because they needed to move there within six months. So we got to work, we made it happen um, as we always do, of course, for our clients, for you. Um, so we made that happen and they were super happy, but that's just the type of stuff that happens with most people are moving to Ann Arbor for the school systems is they have something in mind and they want to go accomplish that and we'll make that happen. The other thing that's really cool about the school system you know, here in Ann Arbor is it's open enrollment. So if you are living in a neighboring city like Ypsilanti, uh, Whitmore Lake, uh, Saline, Dexter, and those school systems are all great too, but if you wanna send your kids to Ann Arbor, you have a school of choice here in Ann Arbor. So the open enrollment um, extends to those neighboring cities. So if you do wanna partake in that school of choice, you can definitely do that. Um, you just need to get on the waiting list if there is one and just sign up to make that happen. All right, so we talked about safety, we talked about school systems, but what about the shopping here in Ann Arbor? Now, this is I think by far one of the things that people love about Ann Arbor is there's so many things to do. Being that it's a really artsy community and there's so much um, eclectic things that are going on downtown you have so many little boutique shops that you can pop into kind of see all the things that local artists local crafts have made in there i love going down to a place called rock paper scissors they get some really cool locally made stuff here in michigan um, it's a, just a great great shop down there you got cherry republic um, on the corner of main street um, which has got ties to northern Michigan, where we go on vacation pretty much every year in the Traverse City area. But Cherry Public is from Traverse City. They have a location down here. It's everything cherry. So if you love cherries, you want chocolate covered cherries, you want uh, gummy cherries, like I can't even think of all of them right now, but there is so many things um, cherry flavored in there. They got cherry wine too. I see more coming to my mind, but Cherry Public's one of them. And then you have the Briarwood Mall. So you got the shopping downtown at the Briarwood Mall. And then you also have Carytown, which is home to Zingerman's. Now, if you've not heard of Zingerman's or been to Zingerman's, this is like hands down, you gotta go try this. The sandwiches are incredible. All the baked goods are great. They got a coffee house in there. Everything is phenomenal. Zingerman's is actually one of the largest employers 
in Ann Arbor as well. They employ nearly like seven or 800 people. It's absolutely crazy. They got a machine going and this place will blow your socks off when it comes to sandwiches. So make sure you go check it out. But right across the street in the Sparrow Market, they have some shops on the upper level. Um, they have a grocery store there. So if you are living downtown, just remember, you know, Sparrow Market, that's your grocery store, local um, downtown grocery store. And there's plenty more in the surrounding areas as well. All right, so the next up on the list is the housing market. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Eric, this is probably your favorite thing to talk about. Yes, it is. It really is because real estate is my business. Making these videos for you guys is my business, but I love real estate. I love the negotiation. I love helping families find their forever home. And here in Ann Arbor, this is the interesting part about the real estate market is we have this bubble around it, okay? So because of the, the jobs and the, um, the employers here with the University of Michigan, Again, um, the university hospital system and all the tech jobs that are surrounding from the automotive industry to the healthcare and just software like it runs the gamut because of this we have this bubble around the housing market and when the national averages start dipping or we start seeing declines in some of the major markets Ann Arbor really just kind of like levels off okay and this is this is pretty level but like it's still increasing right when we were seeing multiple offer situations and um, you know things that were going crazy in the market Ann Arbor was berserk like it was we couldn't even keep up like when we said 10 offers Ann Arbor houses were getting 20 offers so it's a really competitive market because of those reasons so when we sit down on a zoom call and talk about your needs for housing we're getting really specific because we want to be able to go in like a surgeon and make sure we know exactly what it is that we're looking for and we're going to really be able to sit down and tell you if what we're looking for doesn't exist in those areas or we need to start looking somewhere else so it's really good to just take that zoom call with me and my team um, we'd be able to kind of sniff that out really quickly and set you guys on the right track to find that home and help you guys achieve those those real estate goals but average price point here in Ann Arbor is going to be right around $425,000. Um, taxes are going to be about 1.6 to 1.7 percent of that. And it's it's just one of those things that, you know, depending on what type of lifestyle you want, do you want to be downtown? Do you want to be um, in the surrounding area in a subdivision? Do you want to be in the, the surrounding area that maybe has a lower tax bracket for township taxes, which you've heard me talk about on this channel quite a bit. And I'm a big fan of taking advantage of those uh, township taxes because they get a little bit lower. But depending on your lifestyle, Ann Arbor has so many different things to offer. Again, you can be downtown, you can be in a subdivision, you can have sidewalks, you can be walking in distance to downtown or the university, but you could also get a little bit further out and feel a little bit more rural but still have access to everything in Ann Arbor. So for that reason, you know, the housing market can get really competitive in Ann Arbor, but if you take the time to really understand everything that I just shared with you, then you can go gravitate towards your lifestyle and your things are gonna be really easy when it comes to finding that house. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about the amenities here in Ann Arbor. Now, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. When we do get calls from folks that are moving here, you know, they're asking a lot of the similar questions about, is it a good place for family? What's it to do for kids? Um, is it walkable? Um, is there theaters around? Like, where do I go for my groceries? So all of that is super accessible. I mean, you're not gonna travel more than five minutes to get to a grocery store, uh, to get to a movie theater, to get to your local um, shopping center. It's all right here in Ann Arbor. If you look at the map, Ann Arbor's kind of like this bubble with the, the, um, the highway system surrounding it. And if you're in the highway system, you're really in Ann Arbor proper. So you're not further than 15 minutes from driving from the northeast side of Ann Arbor to the southwest side. And that's kind of the longest point. You can get there in a good clear traffic day within 15 minutes. So just to give you a perspective of how big that drive is, but you have grocery grocery stores, you got Whole Foods, we got Trader Joe's, um, Plum Market here. So the grocery stores are scattered all throughout. Then you got some of the, the local ones, Kroger, Meyer. Um, those are all here too. Then you got Bushes. So tons of grocery stores, tons of fresh produce as well. Um, if you go to the farmer's market downtown Ann Arbor in Carytown, I highly recommend checking that out. Um, they got all local uh, farms that bring the produce there. So it's just a really cool time. But the amenities here, besides the shopping, besides all of that, you have tons of parks. And I think that's one of the really cool things that 
a lot of people really enjoy is being outdoors. I hear that a lot is we're really active. Is there a lot of things to do in Ann Arbor? And seeing that Ann Arbor has tons of bike lanes, um, people love to bike downtown and they're going for this zero emission thing. If you haven't heard of this, you know, check that out, do some research on it. They're trying to convert the downtown area into zero emissions, which means they're gonna continue with this bike path, um, continue with pushing walking paths and have basically autonomous cars is where I see this going. Uh, autonomous buses kind of bringing people from one end to the next. So it's really cool. The university has got a lot going on, but when it comes to the amenities, you got things like the hands-on museum, you got things like the observatory, you can go check out the planetarium um, there. There's so many things because of the university and because, you know, there, this is such a family town, there's a lot of things to do for kids. And, you know, one of the things that we enjoyed the most when living there with, uh, with our daughter is the fact that we could just walk and we had neighborhoods with sidewalks. We had, you know, places to go, parks to kind of stroll around, and that was really convenient for us. So for those reasons, I think the amenities are top notch in Ann Arbor. So there are many more reasons why people love living in Ann Arbor. Those are just the majors that I wanted to touch on in this video. I know I missed a ton of stuff, guys. So if I missed anything that you are super passionate about, drop that in the comment below. And if there's something that you have a question about, drop that in the comment below too. I answer all those personally. I want to be the best resource for you. So if you are relocating here, here because of maybe one of the industries that I mentioned, healthcare, automotive, education, technology, then definitely reach out. You know, we want to talk to you and help guide you guys on the best places to live. You know, there's so many different districts in Ann Arbor. And if you're going to be um, wanting to be really close to your office, or if you want to be close to the university within driving distance, because, hey, you know, we know that 45 minute radius for um, all the, the healthcare professionals and especially doctors, that's super important. So again, we want to be the best resource for you. All of my contact information is down below so you can reach out. And the best way to do that is to schedule a Zoom call with us. We can sit face to face and really go through what your plans are for making that move here to Ann Arbor. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market here in Ann Arbor. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.